Hi all, welcome to Force Galaxy. So today in this video, we'll be discussing another question which is shared in the comment section. Okay, so the question is what is the exact reason? Uh, so the question is what is the exact reason Salesforce does not allow to insert setup and non setup object together? Okay, so yes, uh, you all are aware about the mixed DML error, right? So when we used to get this error, when the setup and the non setup object and the DMS on both the object are performed in the same transaction. Okay. And then we used to get this mixed DML error. So what we used to do to remove this, we just separate the thread and or the transaction. And then in the different transaction, we used to perform the DML on the one of the object. Okay. So let's understand the reason. What can be the reason behind this and why Salesforce does not allow us to make the DMS on both object in the same transaction. Okay. So you must all aware about what are the setup objects. Setup objects are the one which used to store the uh, informations like the uh, like of users, permissions, profiles, layouts. All these are the information which is critical to the Salesforce platform. Okay, all these are stored in the setup one. And the non setup one are the one in which we used to store our regular data. That is the standard and the custom object uh, accounts, contact, opportunity, and the some other and all other custom objects so, okay so where we used to store our regular data these comes under this non setup objects okay so now if you try to mix both and perform the dml okay then what can happen it will affect upon the data integrity data integrity what which maintains the concepts of correctness accuracy validity completeness all these factors comes around or the concepts comes under the data integrity okay so if you mix both it can affect the accuracy and the correctness of the data which is stored in the salesforce and then you cannot be able to give the uh, and then you cannot be able to give the guarantee of the data uh, of the data that it is correct with the accuracy okay so to maintain the data integrity the salesforce do not going to allow you to mix both the dmls in the same transaction okay. so maintain so to maintain everything perfect and protect the both the object functionality or the data salesforce will not going to allow you to mix the both the uh, object dmls in the one transaction okay? so just imagine uh, so just imagine like you have a salesforce cabinet okay one cabinet is there which has two drawers okay one drawer is for the setup object one drawer is for the non setup object okay and the cabinet is the salesforce or okay now if you want to perform some of the changes or modification in the setup one then in the setup drawer only you will going to manage the things okay and you will not going to mix them with the non setup drawer okay and similarly if you want to uh, maintain the things and with the accuracy and with no uh, bad outcomes then you will going to maintain the drawer separately for the non uh, for the setup object also and whatever the modification you want to do you will going to do in the same inside the same drawer okay so similarly in the salesforce itself if you want to perform any changes then do it separately in the setup one only okay and if you want to do something modifications in the non setup one then do it separately in the non setup only okay do not to mix together else you will going to get the outcomes which can be bad for your data or for your salesforce or and the data integrity concept can be lost okay so to keep things properly and clean salesforce ask you to separate the transaction or separate the drawer or dmls for the setup one and or for the non setup one in the separate threads okay so this can so hope you guys able to understand why we are not allowed to make the uh, DMLs on the setup and the non setup in the same transaction. Okay. So if you have any queries or any question, do let me know in the comment section. And if you want to know about the how we used to get the mixed DML error and how we can avoid them. So the video separate, so the separate video is already uh, uploaded over the channel. If you want to see, you can go and check out and I will also share the link in the comment section. Thank you.